<clears throat> Before we start, I want to say a big thank you to my friend Lassie from Lassie's Food and Barbecue. I'll put a link to his channel at the end. Make sure you check him out and give him all the love he deserves because he's a great guy and he does some really great, um, interesting and let's just say leading edge type recipes and barbecue recipes. And to boot, he's a good guy as well. So make sure you check him out. Give him the thumbs up and subscribe. All right. Okay. On with the video. Well, before I go any further, I need to say a big thank you to my friend Elijah Baird for sending me this wonderful gift, uh, one each for myself and my brother. And what they are, well, you can pretty much see what they are, the, the, the key ring toggles. And that one is a square senate, and that one is a triangular senate and I have to say for a very first attempt um, young Elijah has done an amazing job uh, of making these and I'm going to put that on my personal key ring and I know Richard will find a use for the other one and needless to say I'm very impressed thanks Elijah Okay, you're probably wondering why I'm making a film of some welding equipment. Well, this is because my brother is helping me make a cowboy walk, a discarder. So you'll see what we're using here is a, this is huge it's a 28 inch harrow blade so it's dragged behind a plow uh, dragged behind a tractor and it'll have several many of these blades um, on what looks like a roller behind it hence the hole in the middle which we have to plug up right now we're using these two horseshoes as handles and you see my brother has lovingly prepped it up um, ready for welding and here's the man himself so, uh, yeah, right let's get on with it then oh my god it's Darth Vader I know it's an improvement <laughs> <You're right. laughs> awesome you on. okay got the earth on got the doings on Right, I won't blind you boys and girls, I'll let him get on and do that. So there we have it. That's welded on. I'll just go and get a wire brush. Okay. Alright bruv. He's got to put the other one on and then we'll clean up and then I'll show you again. So that's the weld on the second handle completed. Just needs brushing up now. Let's do that while they're looking. Yep. Take that off. Gonna have to make wire for free. Thank you. And this is working virtually at the fullest capacity of the uh, of yeah. The meg. Yeah, yeah. So uh, I'll take metal like this. Knock that little bit off. And that's looking are. good. That's, that's not bad. You know, for, for that's very good just there. And it, it'll do very nicely. And give it a... There you go. I'd Set say that safe. was the job done. Yeah. So right. I'll go now and make you a plug for there. I'll get a ruler and find out how big it is. Sweet. So what you see here is my brother is rather cleverly uh, gone off and found a perfect piece of metal to slot into the hole which is now tacked into place. Uh, what metal did you use Dick? I used the back of, a, uh, of an old brake pad. 
that we've worn out. <laughs> Perfect. So that's it. Just it. happened to be the right size, and there we are. And it was the right thickness as well. Right everything. Right thickness. You've got it. Perfect. So that's ingenuity in action, boys and girls. And he's now going to uh, weld that inside and outside. Inside and outside, and then we're going to polish it up, and then we're going to have a huge, really <laughs> huge 28-inch cowboy wok or discarder. And we'll show you that when it's done. Over to you, Dick. Okay. Throw on your lens of you. Nah. Because it'll damage out both sides of your, of your camera, this will. Pretty rough, you won't see that. Oh no, that's fine. So we'll go to the other side and we'll uh, uh, tack it up there. All right. The chances are it might have penetrated in up as is, but uh, we'll doubt. see. It'll probably need doing from the other side. Yeah, so we'll likely. just see, eh, shall we? Very likely. So we've flipped it over, rested it on these two uh, wooden planks, and now Richard is going to get in there with his welding kit and do it from this side uh, before polishing it all up again so that's the uh, hole welded up uh, we've tried with a, a garden flamethrower to get the paint off but that's just not happening so uh, we're gonna have to get a bit down and dirty uh, either get it onto a, a bonfire to burn it off or uh, we're gonna get some uh, some sanding discs and the wire uh, brush attachment for our angle grinder and that will clean it all up so here we have it a 28 inch cowboy wok or discarder as we call it now I got a bit fed up with trying to uh, disc sand that down so i sent it away to a sandblaster and paid a few bob to have it sandblasted but uh, i think you'll see the results are really nice um 28 inches is very big and it's a two-man lift um comfortably one man can lift it a strong man can lift it but uh, it's really a, a two-man lift for most intents and purposes and I think it's a wee bit too big for my little brick rocket stove. But I'm sure we'll come to some arrangement for cooking with it. But that will be the subject of another video. So you're probably going to be asking, where do I get a disc harrow from? Well, you just need to search on the word disc harrow. And uh, I found one easily online. However, they don't, maybe you don't want one quite as large as this. I would think uh, anything, say 21 to 23 inches would be really good and make a really good cowboy wok or discarder and then it's just a matter of hard work putting it all together getting yourself a couple of um what i did i got cast iron decorative horseshoes to use as handles but you can use uh, really just about anything as a handle that you like I prefer the horseshoes I think it looks rather good and cool so the next video you see will be uh, will be as cooking up a storm on this discarder on this cowboy walk If you have enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you would like to follow my channel, 
please subscribe and be sure to click the bell icon to receive notification of all my upcoming videos. Thanks for watching.